This photograph piece pays tribute to vintage Hamilton watches dating back to 1960s. It is a homage to Hamilton Intramatic. This was a line of retro-style watches that belonged to the Hamilton American Classic Collection. The original Intramatic Chrono drew its inspiration from powerful and iconic racing cars from the like of Ferrari, Shelby Mustang and even Porsche, although leaning towards the muscle car side of the spectrum. The Podegar is exquisitely crafted, although you wouldn't think so considering the $12 price. It's definitively different to its inspiration and the watch it is a homage to, yet the resemblance is striking. Welcome back to Wiz Watches. Today we talk about the Podega P921, a chronograph. This is a homage to a watch from Hamilton Vintage Collection. So today we'll be talking about the design of the watch case, of the dial, of the lugs and the straps of this watch. We'll also be covering its movement and the general points that we want to mention about this interesting yet rather inexpensive piece. The watch did cost me just $12 and I bought it from AliExpress. This is a low price. The delivery took just under 8 days and I will leave a link in the description below the video. The watch case is round, fully polished surfacing. The Podega homage is upsized from the original vintage and traumatic, which was just 39mm in diameter. The Podega dimensions make 41.8mm in diameter. The lug to lug measurement is also well designed to be a modest 48.5mm. People often ask if a watch will fit their wrist. Don't consider the case diameter as an indicator of this. Use the lug to lug measurement. Take a caliper and measure the width of your wrist. This ensures you will find a watch that won't overhang. My wrist is on the slender side at just 6.75 inches and we can see the watch looks just right. There are three pushes as one would expect on a chronograph. The upper and lower piston pushes are tall, the crown is pleasantly hefty but unfortunately slightly bland without signage or logo on the side. The bezel is markedly divided from the case, yet its sharp sloping angle towards the glass dome reinforced the sporty character of the watch. The case is also relatively thick at 12.5 millimeters. That is understandable considering a slender profile might contradict the powerful look Podegar is aiming for with this watch. In summary, the bold polished case with the tall vertical sides, prominent piston pushes produce a bold impression. The dial of the Podegar chronograph does have a resemblance to the Hamilton Intramatic Chrono in the subdials at the 3 and 9 o'clock, yet the homage introduces a third subdial at 6 o'clock as well as a date window between 4 and 5 o'clock. The racing chronograph aesthetic is supported with a choice of faceted baton indices and unadorned pointed baton hands. The simplicity and coherence is almost pointed. The dial is busy yet has a balanced visual weight distribution. The date window does not break the feel of symmetry of the dial. The first thing someone notices when they see your wrist isn't the watch hands. It's not the detailing of the indices. It's the color of the watch. That's why I like what Podegar have done here. The watch face is deep blue, reinforced by a matte cream ring on the outer side of the dial. The chronograph guillotte dials have a circular pattern, once again stressing the racing heritage. The visual depth once more emphasizes the sporty nature of the watch. On the right hand side of the watch there is a hefty crown. The size allows for simple access to adjust the time, rotation of the crown feels effortless and almost too smooth, mostly losing the pleasant mechanical bite that provides tactile feedback. Pusher actions act as expected if not just a little too firm. Pushing the start and end chronograph button does not have a gummy 
feel, just an ever so slight suppression. The reset button gives an audible click, as a result of which the hand of the second subdial fly back to start. The 6 o'clock subdial measures the seconds of the stopwatch. The 9 o'clock tracks the number of full circles of the second subdials. And the 3 o'clock subdial represents the 24 hour time. I find the latter useful for determination of an AM and PM hours. If the hand is on the right hand side, it's morning. If the hand is on the left, then it's the afternoon. Hodega equipped this timepiece with a quartz movement. The polished stainless steel case back is a snapback, in some ways that explains the modest 3 ATM water resistance rating. The lugs of the watch are nicely tucked under the watch case, and that explains the relatively modest lug to lug distance of 48.5 mm. The strap is genuine leather and signed on both sides. The lavish beige is complemented with the rugged and beefy look and feel of the strap. The strap is also padded for that extra comfort. The clasp is polished stainless steel in line with the polished case. It's a classic buckle clasp, mind you it's signed with an engraved logo on the tip. And that's the Podega P921 for you. It is a chronograph that looks like a true racing chronograph. I really couldn't believe that this cost me just $12. It looks more expensive. I think the functionality is there to prove that it adds more value than it costs. I have left a link in the description below the video to the listing of where I bought this watch. It won't cost you anything, but it will help the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.